nobody believed in him except his nephew Lut alayhi salam and they had to leave they had to flee from the persecution and the oppression of their homeland they had to give up the land of their birth and the land they were raised up and go and find another land to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and we rescued him and Lut to the land which we have blessed for the mankind for the world and the blessed land is the holy land Asha on the way he passed through a land called Harran in Asha بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا أما بعد The people of Haram they weren't idol worshippers they were worshipping the stars and the moon and the sun they were worshipping the planets and he was amazed of the worship of his people Haram so one day Ibrahim عليه السلام One day he gathered his people and he said, let us try and worship this Lord of yours. When the night covered and came, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he saw a planet, a star. And he said, هذا ربي, this planet is my Lord. A while, a moment later, the star went. So Ibrahim said, where's my Lord? What happened to him? When he saw the moon bright, this is my Lord. Now this moon is huge, this is bigger, brighter, looks nicer. This has to be my Lord. This is my Lord. But then when the moon left, he said, if my Lord doesn't guide me, I will be among the losers. He's telling this to the people, saying, I'm searching. I'm not making up something. I'm asking my Lord to guide me. And then when he saw the sun, very bright and large sun compared to the moon, now I found my Lord. The sun is my Lord. Look how big it is. It's the biggest one I've seen so far. So this is my Lord. The night came. He said, oh my people, can't you get it? Who am I going to worship? One during the day or one during the night? He said, you are people astray. And then finally, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam said, I am indeed free from all that you join as partners in worship with Allah. Verily, I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth. Hanifa. Hanifa is on the straight path and I am not of those who are mushriki the ones who associate other gods with Allah his people disputed with him he said why should i fear your gods when i have Allah with me you are the ones who should be afraid how many people believed in him no one only sarah and ibrahim alayhi salam married her and they left And Sarah is what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. She is the most beautiful woman on earth after Hawa. Ibrahim alayhi salam now made his hijrah out of Haran. Subhanallah, Ibrahim alayhi salam lived a life of hijrah. So he left Haran and he went to Egypt. When he got to Egypt, the news was carried to the king of Egypt at the time. That there is a man who is accompanying Egypt. the most beautiful woman they are referring to sara radiyallahu anha the king of egypt liked to have beautiful women the king said to them go and ask what the relationship of this man is to her and if he says that he is her husband then kill him and bring the woman to me i want her for myself so they went but along the way Jibreel alayhi salam had come down to Ibrahim first alayhi salam and said to him the situation. So Ibrahim alayhi salam turned to Sarah and he said to her the following words. He said to her, you see this land that we are in? He said, by Allah, there isn't a single believer on the face of the earth except for me and you. So when these people come to you and if they ask you, who am I to you? tell them that i am your brother he is her brother in islam so they came to sara radiyallahu anha and said what is your relationship with this man she said he is my brother they took sara and they took her to meet the king and the king want to place his hand on her she made a dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh allah if you know that i have believed in you and your messenger meaning ibrahim alayhi salam And I have guarded my chastity from anyone except to my husband. 
then do not let this disbeliever have power over me. What happened? His hand was paralyzed. He became a little bit crazy. What's happened to me? I can't touch it. Striking with his legs, what's wrong with me? And he couldn't touch it, he was going to die. So he told her, Ask your God, ask Allah to heal me, and I will leave you alone. Sarah was afraid that if he died, the people will say that she killed him, and then she will be killed. So she made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal him. So his hand was moving again. He extended it again. He betrayed his word. He didn't keep his promise. She made a dua another time. His hand was paralyzed another time. He said, make a dua for me. She made dua for him second time. And his hand was released. He tried to grab her for the third time. And the same thing happened to him. And then he said to her, if you release me the third time, I will let you go. And I will be generous to you. So she made the dua and truly, he did let her go. He freed her and he said to his soldiers, get her away from me. Wallahi, this woman is not a human being. She is a shaitana. She is Satan or a devil or something. Get her away from me. And he also gave her one of his servants. She was a lady, a pious, good lady with great character. Her name was Hajar. And Sarah went back to Ibrahim. السلام, she'll enter the place of Ibrahim. السلام, and Ibrahim السلام, is praying to Allah. So Ibrahim will say to Sarah, what happened? So she said, Allah had protected me from the oppressive person. So Ibrahim thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and realized that Egypt is not the place to take me. So Ibrahim alayhi salam decided to migrate from Egypt and he went to Palestine. Inshallah, we have an appointment with that until we meet again. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallahu bihamdih. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.